shirt. I have to yep. choose one or the other because I'm going down. Exactly. Yeah. And that's where you capitalize on that confusion. Let's uh, jump right, in let's here. We got some teams going here. Uh, we do see Rexaw on the Roadhog. Oh. This was his staple, uh, yeah, staple play right here. Um, Very good hooks from him. Yeah. Obviously, Roadhog's experience, Jeff's wrath, and is no longer yeah. viable <laughs> in any game mode. But uh, here we are. <laughs> Let's see if he is going to work with it. <laughs> here gonna, we are. Uh, yeah. I did. Uh, I did exchange some words with Rexaw before the match, taunting him to encourage him to play Rexaw, and it appears that it's played off. So he goes, "Watch, I can still do it, guys." Yeah, we'll see if he is. And here we go, leading off game three. So I look at this and. Uh, Randy already picking up some really early kills. That's got to be tough for Team Hydra just to deal with. You know, they're losing one of their main DPS players. And now Binshu picking up another one. Oh, that's two picks right out the gate. Yep. So that means that Team Hydra is already needing to back up as Kraken takes a very yeah. dominant position in this game. Let's Unfortunately, again, this is just plays into that mental component. You know, they yeah. you can see them already, like, backing off off a single pick. Now Cupcakey picking up another one. Oh, relentless. Wow. Leaves us a little speechless here when you start out the gate like that. It does. I mean, when you get these, when you get those picks without any sort of contention or fight, mm -hmm. that's really, it's challenging to do much with that because you're always operating with one arm kind of behind your back. You're not going to win these pushes on a 5v6 typically. You've got to recollect and take some sort of an advantage. One of the issues is you've got Randy flying around just beating the hell out of you. Yeah, let's take that like, guy yeah, he's out. Right Look at this. Him. He's got total free reign right now. I mean, they're scared of him. He's already oh, got his ult he's up. got his ult ready. <laughs> this is... They're running scared. They have him completely out of position at this point. Yep. Uh, yeah, there's no coming back from that either. Yeah. If I'm Team Hydra, I'm rethinking what we're doing right now. Because it's just not yeah. working. We gotta, sw we gotta switch up some picks here. Uh, I think p switch up some comp as well. I just yeah. think that whatever they're running is something that's not working or no, something that they're not comfortable with. Yeah, something is not gelling. I think players are... I'm worried about their level of discouragement when they really shouldn't be. They just need to think objectively. Yeah. What are we going to do to change this? How do we deal with... How do we deal with a fair that's shutting us down? Yeah, because that's clear. I mean, it's pretty clear here. You know, from from anyone's perspective watching this game, that that's their that's their tallest hurdle right now. But if you notice, they're not recognizing it and are kind of ignoring it. You can yeah. see her. You know, he's up there just kind of picking away. Wow, look, I mean, he's right out right now too. I mean, look at that. Look at how far out of position Randy is. There we uh, go. There we go. Ignite okay. Picks okay. up the kill, but. But he traded there. I mean, look at the trade. You took a mercy for, uh, you know, their their healer for that. So. Yeah, and it's not a bad trade, especially when the timer's already ticking down yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, valid, valid, valid. Yeah, especially at that last ditch effort. So. Let's see. I would almost argue if when we were talking about triple tank build before, that can absorb some heavy damage. Maybe they go a triple tank build with a hit scan. Maybe. I think Big Guy is going to have to ditch Reinhardt, and I think he should commit to a Zarya or a Winston. I think this uh, Widow pick is good. If Spice can make these plays, he'll de decimate the pharmacy. The question, though, is can he make these plays or not? Fa this is not a very good Pharah map. No, a lot no, of open it's space. not. And it's also the cap point's very low. I mean, she's got to get down there to actually come in and do some damage. So, yeah, you're right. But hold on. Let's see. Let's keep an eye here on Spice. Let's see. Oh, good shot out of the gate. Nice. Nice shot. Excellent. Out of Spice that big there. pick. That's big what pick. they needed right there. All right, Hydra. Picks like that's what's going to be able to turn this game around quickly for him. Move on in. And Binchu answering, though, with that DPS. Unfortunately, Cupcake, he's picking up these yeah. kills right away. But I think Team Hydra might have got a little bit of wind in their sails with that pretty solid Widow pick. Yeah. They just got to be able to make something happen out of it. We, got, we forget about the over-aggressive Zen play here from Cupcakey. Almost forget that. Like, you notice the position there of her was up front. You know, immediately doing damage. Rexaw. Rexaw's punishing those out-of-position yes. plays. Which is what he's known for. That so, is true. Yeah. 
Still making the Roadhog yeah. pick work regardless of the... So of here, the you could argue, we got Rexaw doing the Roadhog. Oh, and here comes Randy again. But I was saying that overconfidence picked those players that are out of position because they're overconfident. Out, but you know, pushing out in front of the group. We'll see. He had one on there. Let's see if he can do another. Do you notice nobody's really looking up to deal with? Yeah. They, again, I thought they were gonna. I thought they were changing their scope there. That mixed missed hook going down. So Sipper opting to keep them at full strength. I think it's a good choice. I think that right now the best thing Hydra needs is full strength and focus. Sipiter getting put down there by Spice, maybe. No. Oh, oh good. Relentless. There we go, Rexaw. That's the Rexaw we know. But still, don't know. It's a very scattered team. Yeah. The other alternative, and we noticed this with our other seasons. There we go. Cupcake getting picked up. Breathes a little bit of life into our Hydra team here. We also noticed that on some teams, you don't necessarily need to deal with the Pharah. Maybe you just slam the whole other team, pick up and some kills, do that. Yeah. and just win it that way. Because she can't float on the point by herself on this map. I mean, you, you, she can't protect it. The issue, though, is how do you get there through that? No. Dish boy. Keeping like right it alive. Uh, this is where you want to kill your Pharah player. Yeah. Because she's just hanging in the middle there. Unfortunately, that's just the kills are not going Oh, connected. no. That should not be happening. Oh. I know that was the end of the line, though, so. Yeah, I think yeah. it's challenging when you're kind of running out of time there to stay focused. So, Randy, really, uh... Really causing some trouble for our Hydra team here. Oh, yes. Randy is a menace. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, we've got a comment in here about, yeah, D.Va uh, blocking the Pharah and have his team win the fight. The, the D.Va does put, I mean, that defense matrix is pretty effective. I mean, that's, you know, that's something that uh, I think Maverick has brought to light to me. Uh, is that sometimes I feel that, that that's underplayed as a defense to Farah. I always think offensively, but defensively, yeah, D.Va would be a good pick, too. Yeah, I think uh, trying to figure out, you know, you don't, other ways to deal with Farah besides killing her. And yeah. I do agree the defense matrix is the way to go. Um, you can just get in her face, stop the yeah. damage, and then all of a sudden you can win the team fight. But fortunately, that is not... Wow. But well, we got Binsu there doing the doing the tracer thing, getting two picks off there. Yeah, I think the Hydra team's a little stuck on as to what yeah. to do at this moment. The Sombra is a good pick. I don't. I mean, it's not going to counter their fair. I think at this point, I mean, maybe. Yeah, I think that's more the the concern is that yeah. it doesn't really address their major yeah. issue, which is that pharmacy. I mean, you could argue for any hero, actually. I mean, it's... This is tough. Big guy still doing the good shielding. We've got... That's uh, Will playing the uh, Ana in the back there that we're keeping an eye on. So Cupcakey does go down, but again, it's at the cost of multiple other heroes. Yeah. I'm just just kind of hanging out here. Or trying to hang out. Oh. He's able to pick up Binchu, who's mashing that E. Yeah. Probably will go down for that. You can see just kind of general disorganization from our Hydra team. Yeah, Hydra's a little broken out here. We're getting at 50% of the point. Starting to see that the team kind of break up here. Unfortunately, it just doesn't seem like they're able to really crack in here. Well, we've also got, I mean, they've got no big tanks there in the front line absorbing as they push in. We see Ninja going around the side. I think Big Guy looks like he's taking the side as well as opposed to going straight in. But we got Dish Boy here on the outside not helping any of the healing in that, that main group pushing in. I think our our Hydra team may have they're trying to make some stuff connect here but Tracer's kind of running yeah. the mug, just kind of nailing people as they go. Big Guy though is able to pick up a lot of kills. I think he's really the standout so far on our Hydra team, and it, that really, I think, could help wow. gather some people around him. Yeah. He's 
consistently picking up some kills yeah. here. Yeah. But unfortunately, oh, can't reach that fair. That, yeah. Uh, that is the one limitation with Ryan. I would say he's not a good good counter to Farah. Yeah. Very oh, tough goes. games there for uh, Hydra. For Team Hydra there. So was not able to manage to deal with that Farah play at all. I agree. And hopefully if Hydra is watching these videos back again, the D.Va oh. is going to be an integral need for their team to excel at. We got our aggressive Zen player, Cupcakey, taking the play of the game. Yeah, and preventing big guy from doing too much work on the point yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. And enabling their fair. And yeah, I was just like, just beefing the fair more. Look at the 53% kill participation. Wow. Really good plays there. So I think for our, uh, before we sign off here, so we've got, uh, in summary, our first set of games... We've got uh, Team Dragon winning two and Phoenix winning one of those games in our first round. And then as you just witnessed, we saw Kraken do a clean sweep uh, all three games. So they are definitely our clear winner uh, night one. Uh, yeah. Summing it up, we saw a different, actually uh, a fun thing to note is each play of the game uh, for all our matches was a different player, cool. which is cool. Because sometimes cool. we'll see the occasional repeats. So um, we're going to make some announcements here for the team. Uh, thanks for everyone for tuning in and re-watching if you're part of the league. Uh, check out our site for more info and talk to us on Discord, and we'll see you next week. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.